outside yet, remember? Good. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. We're going to, I don't know, kind of want to still rob a train. You, you know what? No, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I probably should shave. But yeah, I'm looking, looking a little terrible. I'm taking it all off. Let's get my hair all nice and neat looking. And I'm going to do all my facial hair. There we go. You know what? Ugh. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Let's sleep for morning. Ooh, morning. Look at my beautiful hair. I didn't know you could name your horses. I just found that out. I, sh I haven't named my horse. I'll probably name it Horsey. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some buffoon. What? A man of words. A man of action. <laughs> Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. <laughs> I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know, but, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's, he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Oof. I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Oh, you want me to lead the way? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. You did? Okay. Thanks. Do I want to cause some problems? I'll greet him. Uh, hey there, Hello, Barney. Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. Hello, Hello you, friend. Uh, like I said, times are tough. With fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. I gotta pay him. Pay him there for what? You kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us. A fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect time. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road. Silt water strained. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Fella called Hector. He's also one of the. What did you call us again? Discouraged Ooh. men. Oh, that's it. Discouraged okay. men. I like. I think I'm going to be robbing some stagecoaches. Or should I say, adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. A shell. I thought you might like to see that pantomime. The river road through Silwater Strand. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. I gotta turn this off because I can barely hear it on my end. Just don't get to it. Get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Whoa, he almost ran him over. Not being detected. Oh, there you go. Ooh. That was easy.
I want to rob that sage coach after the fact. <laughs> Definitely will. You're looking real nice today, Phil. Shut up. <laughs> Here we go. You've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Oh, I have to have my Let's guns out. Going. What's the plan? Well, everyone has the guns. A couple of the grays over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them. Why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them. And they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Well, they're looking at us. See what they say. They said there was some... Big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they board their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the brave ones. Listen, I know these great boys fit now. This is on a level. We're just stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Yeah, we don't feel right. I oh, shh. over there. Dead people. Oh, Sean. Oh, poor Sean. Oh. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? Uh oh. Oh, Guns on the ground now. Okay. Don't do it. No, we can't do that. Oh, I gotta do the slow thingy. I always suck at this. You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Oh, I got it. Oh, I liked him. Damn. Oh, 
How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find I'm the lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. But you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Or you proper somebody's quiet. Micah, lest you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pure fools. Jeez. I liked him. Oh, well. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. And a shitload of trouble. Yeah. Oh. I know I'm locked on. Be looking for me. Oh, okay. Maybe I should go back there. <laughs> Mark, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Uh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. And Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything. Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Karen, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. The rest of you... Let's ride. Ooh, let's ride. Oh, it got dark all of a sudden? Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's go get that boy back. This is gonna be good. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. I'm here. Do this without you. I'm here. Let's go. Come on. Let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Mm. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us. Damn! Run me over. I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go. Showdown. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? Ooh, this is a good I'm like fly those sons of picture. Bitches. That's a great picture I to take. To calm. Like a screenshot. They all look different. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must know we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? That's true, but... Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged, or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Damn. Do I just shoot him or what? It's like a mic. You ain't gonna be civilized about this. Here we go. Oh, that's gonna be fun! <laughs> Ooh, 
headshots. I think I've been shooting him way too much. I think like one shot would do. Protect myself. Let's go. Let's go. Kick. God, this game is so much fun. Is that it? Oh, they're upstairs. So that mic? Man. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Ooh, we, ooh, we. Let's go. Oh, ran out of dead eye. Jeez. Mike, this is this is red dead. No, no, no. Uh, uh, you want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastard. Where's the boy? What? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problem except my Where dangers. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, well, I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Come and scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Ooh! Dragging her. She ran back into the house. Yo, that's a perfect, perfect, like, image, picture right there. Screenshot. <laughs> God, it's great. Ooh, I got goosebumps. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now. But you're doing the right thing. I don't get that boy back safe. Um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but... Looking at this logically, 
But that boy is fine. He took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared Rob and me. We killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this, this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only Ooh. to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only and as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vandalin. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. Oh. In that case, it would be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. Uh oh. <laughs> I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Ooh. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need? There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. The place is well hidden. You know, Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. John, we'll get Jack back. No, that's we'll getting, get going. Rest getting tense. You, get packing. Whew. Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Yep. Follow me. I know the way. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, David, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only Jeez. move on. But one day. We need to start learning from our mistakes. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Huh. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, oh nope.
just grab one gun. <laughs> upstairs. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? I'm just gonna shoot you right here. You think you come to There's another room over here. Oh, I'm gonna kick it. Kick it down. Kick it. Kick it. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Who are you? Like you. Bounty hunters. Oh. The free men. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them. Ah, you're done. Oh! Jeez! <laughs> I think we're clear. I would've been gone. Everybody wants Arthur for everything. It's like no one can do anything in its own. Here. Give me a hand move to these bodies. Okay. The others walking into this. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Damn. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. Apparently not, so I got a platinum watch. <laughs> Floating body. Wow. Oh, cool. Okay, I could I only did two. I thought I had to do all of them. Seriously, if they just robbed like a bank or two, they would be such stray. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Oh, I love it. Look at all that. And they ain't lying. Ugh. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. I think this is a good, perfect place to stop the stream for today. So we're at chapter four, Saint Denis. So yeah, I think it's a perfect, perfect time to stop the stream.